cosmetic dentistry, it may be expensive, but it can really be worth it for the confidence and happiness it can bring. When things don't work out, though, well, it's time for Watchdog to bite back. Nobody really likes going to the dentist. But we've heard from some customers of one cosmetic dental clinic who say it's not what happens in the chair that's scary, it's what happens afterwards. Well, if you manage to get into the chair at all. The Dental Experts has a staggering 700,000 Instagram followers and operates from London's famous Harley Street. It specialises in what's called composite bonding, where resin is applied to the teeth to remove imperfections and whiten them. After seeing positive reviews online, IT apprentice Georgia Griffiths paid almost £2,000 for the treatment in March. I'd booked off work, booked trains, hotels. So the day before the appointment in the evening, I get a text saying that they were moving the appointment back by three months. That's a massive change. I was shocked about the professionalism. I looked at the dental experts on Trustpilot and noticed that there was a warning that they had fake reviews on the site that then had to be taken down. Both positive and negative reviews have been taken down and it's not clear who was behind them. But Georgia was so worried, she cancelled her appointment and was told she'd get her money back within 21 days. It's now been two months and still no refund. I've tried to chase it. I can no longer get through to the phone lines. How many people are in a similar situation to yourself? There's a WhatsApp group, there's a Facebook group, um, and each of them, there's probably about 30, 40 people in there. Now, we've spoken to some customers who did manage to get an appointment here at the headquarters on Harley Street, but the whole process left a nasty taste in their mouths, even after they'd rinsed. Finance manager Cherry Cross paid just over £1,500 for composite bonding in October 2020. Spending that amount of money when you're a single mum isn't something you do lightly anyway, but I think it was within a day or two, I just felt something in my mouth here, and it was the bonding off one of the teeth had come off. The repair gets done? Yes. What happens next? My gums started to bleed. It would drip while you're brushing your teeth. You've got blood splattered on the bowl. And they just said that I needed to brush my teeth or floss them better. In early 2021, Cherry went back to the dental experts and was told overplacing composite on her gum margin had led to her swollen and bleeding gums. The issue was fixed, but she soon returned with more problems. I've been back five times. I mean, it got to the stage now where if I sucked my teeth hard on the top, I'd get bleeding coming down from here. We discussed her case with British Dental Association spokesperson and one of Europe's leading cosmetic dentists, Dr Adam Thorne. So from seeing the photographs of Cherry, things have gone badly wrong. If the procedure is done properly, you shouldn't have persistent bleeding. As long as the health is maintained, bonding can occasionally chip, but the whole front shouldn't come off. If you're having problems after a treatment of this kind, where can you turn? So I'd always go back to the practice of failing that, try and get maybe a second opinion from another clinician. And then we do have a regulatory body called the General Dental Council. That's the same General Dental Council which previously suspended from dentistry a person who is now the sole director of the dental experts, a role where he doesn't carry out dental procedures himself. His suspension relating to misconduct in a previous practice is still ongoing. Since Watchdog got involved, the dental experts has given Georgia and Cherry their money back and had Cherry back for further repairs. She says the bleeding has now stopped. The dental experts told Watchdog, it always seeks to provide high quality treatment and customer service at an affordable price. It says due to factors, including the pandemic, a small proportion of appointments were postponed and refunds delayed and communication was sometimes unacceptably slow. It apologises, but says it has now recruited more staff and should soon clear the backlog. A Harley Street address is no guarantee of quality or good customer service. And from the customers we've spoken to, the dental experts have fallen short on both. Medical treatments have got to be spot on. That way, it smiles all round.